Welcome to our podcast where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how astronomers have discovered the formation of the Milky Way galaxy. A new study led by researchers at Ohio State University provides the latest evidence into the formation of the Milky Way galaxy, including the merger with a key satellite galaxy. The study, published in the journal Nature Astronomy, was conducted by using relatively new methods in astronomy. The researchers were able to identify the most precise ages currently possible for a sample of about a hundred red giant stars in the galaxy. With this and other data, the researchers were able to show what was happening when the Milky Way merged with an orbiting satellite galaxy, known as Gaia Enceladus, about 10 billion years ago. Fiorenzo Vincenzo, co-author of the study and a fellow in the Ohio State University, has said, Our evidence suggests that when the merger occurred, the Milky Way had already formed a large population of its own stars. Many of those homemade stars ended up in the thick disk in the middle of the galaxy, while most that were captured from Gaia in Celadus are in the outer halo of the galaxy. Josefina Montalban said, the merging event with Gaia Enceladus is thought to be one of the most important in the Milky Way's history, shaping how we observe it today. By calculating the age of the stars, the researchers were able to determine for the first time that the stars captured from Gaia Enceladus have similar or slightly younger ages compared to the majority of stars that were born inside the Milky Way. Results showed that the merger changed the orbits of the stars already in the galaxy, making them more eccentric. Vincenzo compared the stars' movements to a dance, where the stars from the former Gaia Enceladus move differently than those born within the Milky Way. The stars even dress differently with stars from outside, showing different chemical compositions from those born inside the Milky Way. The researchers used several different approaches and data sources to conduct their study. One way the researchers were able to get such precise ages of the stars was through the use of asteroseismology, a relatively new field that probes the internal structure of stars. Mathieu Vrard, a postdoctoral research associate in Ohio State's Department of Astronomy, has said, Asteroseismologists study oscillations in stars which are sound waves that ripple through their interiors. He also added, that allows us to get very precise ages for the stars, which are important in determining the chronology of when events happened in the early Milky Way. The study also used a spectroscopic survey called Apogee, which provides the chemical composition of stars, another aid in determining their ages. We have shown the great potential of asteroseismology in combination with spectroscopy to age-date individual stars, Montalban said. This study is just the first step, according to the researchers. Vincenzo said, We now intend to apply this approach to larger samples of stars and to include even more subtle features of the frequency spectra. This will eventually lead to a much sharper view of the Milky Way's assembly history and evolution, creating a timeline of how our galaxy developed. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.